da, ba, da, da, get it? It's a circle. Hi. I just introduced myself in the last video, but now I'm going to get into an actual review. Uh, I don't exactly know um, how I'm going to, like, content-wise going to do this. I'm pretty much just going to, for now, especially considering, again, you know, my set is my room, my small room, and my camera is right now my computer, so... <laughs> That's what I've got to work with. Uh, I don't have great editing either, so like, I'm just gonna pretty much go for it. I'll do as little editing as I can. But my first review, which I think is an important milestone in any young critic's review life, or whatever. My first review I want to talk about is Arrival. Uh, you've already known that if you've seen up there, or if you can see into the future, which is super cool. Should I say that? I don't know. Anyway. I absolutely adored this movie. Uh, I think it's one of the best films of the year. Uh, it's one of my favorite science, science, science fiction movies I've seen in a really long time. Um, it, it's incredibly fascinating and interesting. Um, to start, we have uh, the director. Uh, his name is Denis Villeneuve. I believe that's how you say his name. Um, no one else seems to be able to say his name, so if that's wrong... Sorry, I tried. Uh, I love Denis Villeneuve, and so maybe I really should learn exactly how to say his name. <clears throat> but he's probably my favorite living director outside of your Scorsese's and your your Spielberg's and um, your Christopher Nolan's and stuff like that. He's probably, it, for me, in that category. Like, I think he's just starting out, but I think he is so good. He hits the mark every time he comes to play. Prisoners is one of the best films of 20. 12, uh, I think it was, I don't know, Adjust, if that's not right. Uh, Enemy was one of the best films of 2013. It's one of my favorite films of all time. I really love weird movies. Uh, and then um, Sicario is one of the best films of 2015. I thought all of his movies are shot so beautifully and have that independent flair to them. They have that really wonderfully spontaneous feel to all of them. But you can tell that he has a little bit of money behind him because people believe in him. He's incredible. Um, and he doesn't fail in this one. This might be his best yet. Um, some people may disagree with me, but I think if you combine my favorite director right now with my favorite fran with my favorite genre of film, you get my favorite, you know, movie of his. Uh, I absolutely love this movie. Um, I really liked the characters. I loved Amy Adams. She was fascinating and uh, layered and interesting, and there's a wonderful plot that goes throughout her that I won't talk about at all, but it really, really got me. I cried like a baby. I usually cry in movies, but I cried just like beautifully distraught tears, and it was amazing. Ah, oh, it felt so good. And this is the second time I've seen it. Uh, she was incredible in the movie, and the character was really interesting, really well thought out. Then we had, uh, Jeremy Renner, who, as a character, didn't necessarily do a whole lot as far as, like, the, the, uh, uh translating the story or whatever. But I, I feel, like, watching the movie that he probably did a lot, like, that we didn't see. Um, he, he just wasn't that prime story. The prime story is the translator, you know, and that's the important part, so... He's important to other stuff in the movie, but as far as just, like, the story itself, he's kind of expendable, but he's so charming and so likable, and he brings his real gravity of humanity to it, you know? He's sitting on the, the helicopter the first time, and he introduces him, and he makes a witty joke or something, and she can't hear it, and he just smiles and puts his glasses on, and I just, I don't know, he's so human and so likable, and I just want to get to know the guy. Um, then there's Forrest Whitaker, who does a pretty good job in this as well. Um, he's, uh, he chooses a very interesting accent. I noticed that he does that a lot in movies. Um, but, I don't know, I liked it. I liked listening to it. He's like, duh, 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 and I just, like, perk up every time he'd talk. So, um, I really liked him. I loved the way this movie looked. I loved, I lo 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 loved 
the way this movie is shot. It nothing looks fake and nothing looks like it's CGI'd or put in there. Even the heptapods, which I know they're CGI, and I mean that you can kind of tell, but and obviously your your brain is saying, duh, that's not real, but like you're also like, ah, oh, that looks really good. So I love the CGI. I love the way everything looked and felt. It felt real and tactile, but it also felt just gorgeous. There's a couple of scenes where they're coming over the hills and stuff. You see those fog rolling over the uh, hills, and there's just this wonderful, creepy music that has this air of foreboding. But because of the characters, you kind of get the sense of, like, I'm kind of also hopeful that this might go really interestingly and really wonderfully. Um... Uh, besides that, we have the story. The story is amazingly interesting. It's intricate. It's it, it, it's fascinating, and it like blew my mind at the end. I don't know if that happened to anyone else, but everyone else I talked to has apparently really liked this movie. I loved it, and it made me think. It really, really made me think. It's not often that a movie really does that. Those are rare movies, maybe like ten a year, and it's one of these movies. And it not only is it one of these movies, it's one of the better versions of this movie. I loved it. I loved thinking about this. And I've seen it again, I've seen it twice. And the second time it hit me so hard. The the ending and the, the message in it. It was gorgeous. It's gorgeous. The way it's filmed, the way it's shot, the message that it gives, all amazing. Uh and I would have to say, I haven't really come up with a rating system yet. I'm sure this will evolve, but I guess I'm just gonna go like one uh, or zero to a hundred for now and i can maybe come up with my own cool rating system later but i would give this one a hundred uh i think it deserves it i think if any film this year deserves it which there are a couple that are really really good out there i think this film was definitely a 100 percent worthy film uh, i think everything really came together and all backed by that wonderful direction of denis villeneuve and I could watch anything he does. He's directing Blade Runner 2, guys. Ah! But he did a wonderful job in this movie. And I can't wait to see what's next for him. I can't wait to see what's next for Amy Adams. I can't wait to see what's next for Jeremy Renner.